Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. My name is Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm doing an unboxing of Sedgwick Attacks Salem Church, May 3rd, 1863. This is volume 10 in the American Civil War series from Revolution Games, part of the Blind Swords series, um, created by the d created by Herman Lutman was the overall you know rule set and series. This one particular battle is designed by Charles Whalen, excuse me, Claude Whalen, and. Uh, Again, it covers the Battle of Salem Church, May 3rd, 1863. So uh, let's dig in and see what you get in the box. All right, it seems like only yesterday that Stonewall Sword came out. That was the first in this series. There have been a few other uh, series that have adopted the uh, Blind Sword series, um, but you know, the main thrust of those is the uh, the Revolution Games um, implementation in their American Civil War. I can't believe it's up to volume ten. All right, start with two dice: a red with white pips and a white with red pips, and let's see who wins. Red wins three to two. All right, so if you buy the bagged version. You'll notice you've got the cover right here. This is what would be the cover, the cover of the bagged version. Um, but you'll find it is the turn record track and the the uh, broken track and spot for eliminated units. So this will sit on the table next to the to the bat map. But uh, they make good use of not wasting materials. All right, and then we got two copies of the combat results table, one for each player. Of course, you can, this is a chip pull system, so it's very easy to true solo it, playing both sides, because you draw the chip to find out who activates, so you, don't, you can't really plan too far ahead. You just say, oh, this is the group that's activated. Let me do it the best I can, because they're not going to get another shot. So, uh, but you get two copies of the CRT, one for each player if you're playing with a person, or if you're just schizophrenic and you want to play both sides and, you know, use your own charts. Should have said that probably but anyway and then also has the cohesion test tables and a terrain key for that map okay and there's your victory point symbols so two copies of that excuse the noise and then we have our sequence of play reference and you get two copies of that right that also has a terrain effects chart as well as the sequence of play for each player but on the back one is for the union and one is for the confederate and it describes the event chips that can come out during the chip pull process. So you can choose ones you want to go in there and then you draw. When you draw, these are the things that will happen for you. So one for each player there. Then we've got two half sheets. And these are all on coated cardstock. Very, very, very good quality. So we have our Union Brigade activation display. It's a half sheet. Also going to set off to the side of the board. And then the Confederate Brigade activation display. Okay. And then we have version 1.2 of the Blind Sword series rules, the 2024 update. Uh, this is 16 pages, and it is pretty much, you know, all business. This is, these are the rules for the system, so you're going to need to know these. Um, it's not it's not that hard, even though it looks very dense. It's pretty easy to it's pretty easy to grasp and understand. So, uh, but you'll need to know these. That's a 16 page rule book. And then you get into the Salem Church exclusive rules, which are the rules exceptions and the rules specializations just for this particular battle. It's also, oh, this is only 12 pages, so that's not too bad at all. And then one of the last pages is uh, designer's notes. So this is full color, and this is on a nice matte finish, no glossiness here. Um, and it discusses, so you got scenarios uh, that start on page eight. And your special rules, and like I said, you've still got this is all stuff related specifically to this game, and you got a lot of color graphics and examples. So it makes it very, very easy to just apply these to these. So if you know these already from playing other games in the system, you need to really learn these. And then we've got our counter sheet, and this is very counter non-dense, just one sheet of counters. These are not pre-rounded, you'll have to punch them, and if you have a lot of mess on them, you'll have to Round them with the Lorican Laminations 2.5 millimeter deluxe corner rounder, the correct tool for the job. See, so we've got our Union counters and chits and event chits here, and a few Union ones here. And here's the Union. Oh, excuse me, uh, Confederate Unions here. 
Confederates here and Confederate events here with a marker for game turn. And then some shaken uh, markers to remind you when a unit has been shaken, not stirred. And they're very nicely centered. Very good. All right. Once you counter, so then we've got our map, which is should be a 17 by uh, let's see a 20, 22 by 34 map. So we're gonna take a look. So this is mostly a lot of field, a couple of roads, some some uh, elevation changes. You can barely make out. So look at text in there, in the trees, they hit it in the forest. So we've got. Got our victory point locations. So we got basically the one main road here with our arteries branching off of it, and then a river. A couple of rivers here. Basically, just a big open geographic area. Very good artwork, though. I do like the style. I like that they, since the passing of Rick Barber, they have they have managed to keep the artistic style. Uh, intact so that the series all looks the same which is very nice because it does have a nice periodic feel to it all right so if you pick up a copy of Sedgwick Attacks in the American Civil War series from Revolution Games this, this one's designed by Claude Whelan you're gonna get that uh, 22 by 34 inch paper map you're gonna get one sheet of counters and markers you're gonna get the 12 page exclusive rule book for this particular battle the 16 page 19, 19, 2024 rulebook update for the whole series that you'll apply with the special rules. Two half sheet activation displays, one for the Union, one for the Confederates. You're going to get two of the um, sequence of play charts, reference charts, terrain effects charts, and some other miscellaneous charts, along with one for the Confederate, one for the Union uh, event descriptors. One for each player, the combat results table and the terrain key and the cohesion test table. You're gonna get the, you're gonna get the bagged version. You're gonna get this as your cover sheet and on the back, you're gonna get the turn record track and the broken track. And finally, those two dice. Let's see if white can pull out a victory this time and white, ooh, we cocked six to five. White wins barely. And that is everything in Sedgwick attacks battle of salem church may 3rd 1863 american civil war series volume 10 sorry i got 10 versions anyway by revolution games designed by claude whalen thank you so much for watching god bless you bye bye oh.